It's not easy having yourself a good time Greasing up those pets and feathers Watching your they don't want I'm finishing this disc, man. Today! Today! Okay. Then I'll like upload them all at once like I normally do. You know, I could spread them out, you know, to stop people from getting this pissed. But no, 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 I think I'd rather upload them all at once. Okay. <laughs> I'll just load when I can. Yeah, because YouTube uploading is hilarious. It's the most fun you'll ever have. It's an observatory, a place to measure the radiance of souls and blah, 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 Dr. Tot. You know, whatever. Alright. Look, look, I mean, I could read all this, but really, you'll find that what they say, it's just the same thing over and over and over, in different ways. That's all that they're saying. Basically, Terra is a planet that must consume other planets to survive. That's the way it rolls. That's how it works. It's like, um... Uh, Omega? Omega Weapon? Uh, yeah, I think it's Omega Weapon. Omega Weapon from Dirge of Cerberus, yeah? Uh, although, uh, well, sort of like that. In the principle, it's the same. But whatever, yeah. So Terra was going to consume Gaia, yeah, yeah. Because all of the Terra people were dying. So the Terra people went into cryogenic stasis, alright, yeah. Leaving Garland, who was um, a magical man who had the elixir of life because he's Nicholas Flamel. And, um... And an army of genomes to be created, which he created, so they would be the vessels for the souls of Terra when the souls of Terra finally returned from cryogenic stasis. Yeah? And at first, Garland tried to take um, Gaia by force by, I don't know, ramming it with his planet or something. That's not prison speak, don't worry about it. Okay, okay. Um, then what? Oh yeah, but it didn't work because of quantum. I don't fucking know. Alright, it didn't work because there was too many souls at once or something. So he created the leaper tree to regulate the souls to make sure he doesn't get too many at once. Otherwise it'll have an overdrive and like throw a spanner in the works or something. Yeah. Um, and then he, uh, he was creating genomes and all of a sudden he tried to create one with lots of power so he could be bad boy, but it was too powerful, so he thought, you know what, I think I might discard this one. No, actually, I'll send it to Gaia so it can kill lots of people and put them in the magical soul machine of destiny, right? And this, and this genome that was super powerful was called Kuja. So he sends down this magical Kuja demon who goes on a rampage, kills lots of people, is a complete badass. But all the time, Kuja has a sense of will. And to be quite frank, he's a little pissed off that he has to kill everyone and then die because he has outlived his purpose. So he makes up his own plot because he's also a badass. All right. And while he's making up his own plot, Garland creates another genome, uh, Moogle, or Zidane, whatever. And, oh, speak of the devil, badass is back in town. Um, uh, Kuja's like, oh, what's this What's this Zidane genome for? And um, Garland's like, oh, he's going to replace you. He's more powerful than you'll ever imagine. So Kuja's like, well, that pisses me off somewhat. So while Zidane is still a little baby cute genome, the, um, Kuja picks him up uh, and... Um, puts him on his ship, in the cannon, and fires him into the vacuum of space. By complete chance, yeah, uh, with a probability of 625,426,729,825 to 1, the infinite improbability drive picks him up on their ship, and they drop him on Gaia. Yeah, so now Zidane's on Gaia, um, and he's left with Baku. Baku being a kind, light-hearted soul, sees the baby, and it hits him right in his thiefy soft spot. Okay? Yeah. So Baku's like, you know what? I'm going to raise this boy as my own son. And, yeah. And, you know, his brother Blank. And, and shit. And that is the story of everything ever. Yeah. 42. Okay. Yeah, now we've got, like, um, the badass moment where Moogle's doubting himself and crap. And it's playing one of my favourite pieces of music from Final Fantasy ever. This is the best piece of music in the game. You can say what you want about Dark Messenger, but the oh shit, this I love this piece of music. Like, nah, 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 nah. I'd play it, I'd play it right now, but I don't have it prepared and I can't be bothered. Yeah, and everyone's giving him a pep talk and 
blah blah you get the idea i don't have to talk through this do i friendship friendship just the perfect blend ship when all the friendships cease to remain ours will be the same la da 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 okay uh, yeah, you know, when my sister watches Disney Channel, when Mickey Mouse comes on, I can't take him seriously anymore. I've seen him hold a keyblade. I just, I, I can't see him as a kid's cartoon anymore. Like, when he's, like, talking to um, his girlfriend Minnie Mouse, and they're talking about friendship and crap. Although she doesn't watch stuff like that, you know. It, it, I mean, if they sneak in a moral at the end, she's fine with it. But if it's all about, like, friendship and crap, she just won't watch it, because my sister's awesome. You're alive. We thought you were dead. No man can kill me. We were so worried. Why did you come here all by yourself? Because this is my throne. My throne. Yeah. Okay. We came to save you, of course. Why did you follow me? And it wasn't easy. You went off all alone. Yeah. You got no friends. Best. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, no. Oh, hang on. Huh? This has nothing to do with you. Huh? Oh, come on. Uh, shut up, Gandalf. No one likes you. Being the tough guy, it's not just about you. Wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Don't be like that. Let's shut up! Just shut up, you stupid brat. Oh, thank you, Moogle. I was waiting for that. Um, but, but I mean, you are the hero. I mean, there's no need to turn into a complete dick just yet. I know no one likes him, but come on. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, favourite, not my favourite of all time. What is my favourite piece of music? Mm, from Final Fantasy. My favourite, like, you know, slow, uh, main character, um, sad, lonely piece of music. Because they're in all the games, you know it. There's this one piece of music where you're just like, oh yes, this is the revelation music, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Did I just get a back attack? No, I can't. Have. Anyway, I've already fought one of these guys, so I'm not scared of them. But regardless, um, you know, I can't even remember where I'm going with this. Yeah, no, slow pieces of music. There's like two Zanakin from FF10. That was awesome. Uh, one of the few things I liked about FF10. There was a Terror's theme. Oh yeah, freaking Terror's theme from Final Fantasy VI. That was brilliant. I love that tune. Um, there's this. What's the what's this one called? You're never alone. Uh, oh, I can't remember. But, you know, Zidane's theme. Although you know, if you like look for Zidane's theme, you get that. And it just sounds. It's quite happy, but I mean, they only play it like once or twice in the entire game. You know, like when you're first getting on that airship. Um, yeah, the cargo ship back on disc one. I mean, why would you play it so infrequently if it's such a badass piece of music? This tune, even less. They play this tune once at this point, I think. I don't think they play it again for the entire game. Ah, uh, whatever. Do, 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 do. How foolish. You're foolish. Ha, Super Saiyans are foolish. Okay. My gosh, I'm so warm. I need a cup of tea number 25. That'll cool me down. Best drink in the world if you're thirsty. Cools you down. Okay. But no one can name that comedian. Well, no one American anyway. No, we'll sing that. I'll tell you what, we'll have a karaoke at the end of the game. When the credits are going, we'll we'll sing um whatever it's called. Uh Memories of Life. We'll sing it, okay? I'll write down the lyrics. If you really want me to, right? I'll sing it, I'll play it in the background, and we'll have the lyrics at the bottom. I'll do subtitles, okay? You have to, but if I do, you have to promise me here and now that you will sing along. Otherwise, it's not worth it. <coughs> you guys! Okay. You're late, Moogle. Ha, ah, you're funny. Okay. Look at that sword. Look how blunt it is. That could not possibly do anything, any damage ever. That's not a sword. It's an axe. It's a hammer. And he's holding a, like, a what? A sledgehammer. Sledgehammer! Sorry, but B from freaking... Eternal Sonata completely ruined the word sledgehammer for me. Sledgehammer! Sledgehammer! It's like his most useless move to. Anyway. Moogle, you know can leave us. I'm not going anywhere. I'm, I'm still here. Derp. And I have not concluded whether you are not the right man for our highness. Mind you. 
Not now, Optimus. Optimus Prime. <sighs> Ugh. Stupid Sam Witwicky, completely ruining the Transformers films. Ha ah, ha! Aren't you the boy from Even Stevens? Lol! You're all the. <laughs> ah. That there, that's one of my favourite lines in the game. It's not the best line in the game. The best line in the game is by far, did that move will just go into your dress. That's freaking amazing. We need more lines like that. That that was hilarious. Like really bad innuendos that sad people like me can take completely the wrong way. I'm gonna get another cup of tea. Yeah.